Well, it's, it, to me, it's very exciting to, to think that God took something so tiny as to be nothing and made everything. Uh, and that, that we are all part of that everything. I'm made of the same stuff as stars are, so are you. I mean, we, we have within us the same original material. And one of the wonderful things that does is to help us to understand the total interrelationship of all of creation in a planet that seems to be getting more and more fragmented into various religions and various wars. But we are meant to be one because we all come from one creative act, one small, tiny thing that became everything. I'm Madeline Lengel, and I wrote my first story when I was five with an intuitive understanding that if we want to know what our lives are about, what everything is about, a uh, story is our vehicle. Facts are very limited. Story bursts beyond the limits and gives us an idea of why we're here, what we're about. Yes, somebody does care, it does matter. The journey is important. I'm a writer. I'm a writer who happens to be a struggling Christian. I'm often asked if my Christianity affects my writing. I say, no, my writing affects my Christianity. It's the other way around completely. I stray, the work pulls me back. When I, when I wrote A Wrinkle in Time, I, it was for me a theological enterprise. And I really thought I had done something good. And as the rejection slips kept piling up, I'd get the kids to bed, and I'd go take the dogs and walk down the dirt road, and I'd say, God, why all these rejection slips? Do you know it's a good book? I wrote it for you. The silence, the stars just kept on shining. But I did. And so when I write, I try to give God pleasure. And if God is not pleased, I don't think anybody else will be. It's in its 53rd hardcover printing. And, which doesn't happen very often, and it sold millions in paperback. I forget who it was who said, writing is easy. You just sit and stare at the paper till the drops of blood form on your forehead. Uh, it does take discipline. You have to do it every day. You can't just do it when you feel like it. You have to write every single day. And I start and, and end the day with a scripture, both Old and New Testaments, as setting the day as God's day, not my day. And that gives me a challenge and uh, also courage. An artist discovers things. I mean, it, everything is there. A discoverer uncovers things that are there. An inventor takes inventory of what is already there. So you find something, and then you want to share it. That was Picasso's idea, that you're, you're not looking for something. You're sharing what you have found. Uh, and I think that the artist, subconsciously, if not consciously, is always searching for the divine always searching for that which is beyond what we are, uh, that spark that lights the darkness. We're always looking for that and then finding it, trying to share it.